Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. Good morning from Atlantic City, New Jersey. It's a beautiful day. This is day two of the Anthony Bourdain food trail of New Jersey. I love how that sauce is just it's an infinity edge. We finished last night in Atlantic City, but this morning uh, we have to backtrack a little ways up to Asbury Park to eat at one place. Woohoo! Look at that. Yeah, baby! <laughs> so that's where we're going first thing in the morning. Then we'll come back to Atlantic City. We've got a couple places to eat in Atlantic City. Check out this raw seafood bar. We'll probably walk along the boardwalk a little bit, but it's gonna be another day of iconic legendary eats in New Jersey and we're on our way to the first place for breakfast today. Redlicious and you made the sandwich for yeah, Anthony Bourdain? Yeah. That's amazing. So due to the opening hours of restaurants we're having to do a little bit of backtracking this morning so Google says an hour and 17 minutes to get to Asbury Park, which is where there's this one just ultra iconic old school deli that we have to eat at that we're gonna begin with today. And then after that, we'll be driving straight back to Atlantic City to do some more eating. So we're on our way. <laughs> So Asbury Park, this is the home of Bruce Springsteen, John Bon Jovi, it's known for its music scene. It's another coastal city on the shore of Jersey. And without stopping anywhere, we came directly to Frank's Deli. All right. Love the look of this place. So classic, so old school. They have some booths that we're sliding into right now, but then at the front there, they have a whole bar counter seating which would be ideal if you came on your own but with a family these booths are great a lot of jersey classics from sandwiches i love how they call them frank's overstuffed sandwiches overstuffed deli sandwiches overstuffed sub sandwiches gonna get the sub sandwich as well as probably a pastrami sandwich do you see how long so that's what it is? is and what's your name my name is um redlicious redlicious and you made the sandwich for yeah, anthony bourdain oh yeah. that's amazing so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And thank you. That is a huge. That is very big. That's over a foot. It's uh, 19 inches long. 19 it's inches. It's long and strong. <laughs> it's arm size. Oh yeah. <laughs> For here, please. Yep. Oh, the sesame seeds on top. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is wow. Stuff. Yeah, because we're very busy, so. Ah, okay. All that meat goes yeah. onto that. Oh yeah, all this. Oh yeah. All this, bro. <laughs> Start off with the cheese. Okay, and this is provolone. Provolone cheese. Open. Then we go up with the boiled ham. Boiled ham. Then we next we go on to the salami, the hard salami. Hard salami. We are called submarine engineers. That is the greatest term ever. And you know, we never have to go below sea level. We're always above water. <laughs> always above water. <laughs> Our port and starboard attached. I love it. Then we go on to the hot ham. Where are you from? Uh, Arizona. Oh shoot, you Arizona? Yeah. <laughs> you came far. We're pretty far, yep. We started yeah. in Boston and then Oh, that's cool. We welcome, did a little bit of welcome to Asbury Park, New Jersey. Woohoo! Thank you. First time ever here. Woohoo! <laughs> and while you're doing, you um, guys have fun. Our, oh yeah, pepperoni. Pepperoni. Nice. This sandwich has it all. It has it all. This right. is a Bay Marina. Bay Marina. Tomatoes. All right. And we lay them down. So beautiful onion. And the main ingredient, it's made with love. That's always That's the most important always ingredient. That's the most important ingredient. Yep. Then what I like to do is I like to lay the hot peppers down. Hot peppers. These are pickled too? Uh, yeah, they're like, okay. they're not as like. Then we proceed on to the shredded lettuce. Shredded lettuce. And yeah, lay it on accordingly. Salt. Salt. 
We got pepper. We got the oregano. And last but not least, garlic powder. The garlic Italian powder. gets the garlic powder. We got the oil and vinegar. All right. Oh, so that's vinegar? This is vinegar. Oil. Olive oil? Yep, oil. Yeah, like a blended oil. Close it up. Wow. Check that out, Mark. That is beautifully engineered. That's that's why we're called submarine engineers. Channel. Yeah, she's we do videos here. Ah. Yeah. She's Amazing. Steven Spielberg and I'm Red Licious. Red Licious. <laughs> that's my uh, actor's name. Red Licious. So then we put it on this long plate. <laughs> Submarine. <laughs> what is the that name is of the sandwich? Number four Italian submarine. Number that four. Anthony Bourdain enjoyed here the time that he was here. Absolutely amazing. Thank you, Redlicious. You're welcome. Submarine sandwich engineer. And the main that is beautiful. Is the love oh, without a doubt. Look at that. Yeah, baby. <laughs> here we go. What? Here we go. Okay, we gotta go to, Let's go to the table. Let's go to the table. I can't wait to take my first bite. Take bite. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. You are incredible. Whoa. We, uh, wrap it up for you. You really, plate? thank you. Uh, sure, thank you. Here, this is extra napkins. Thank you very much. That is a sandwich. And Mike, I got a Mickey Mouse pancake. Let me show you that, that stack. Oh man, it's heavy. Look, look at the layers, look at the toppings, look at the ingredients. Oh man. Okay, here we go. First bite. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. Oh, those pickled chilies in there are wonderful. I love that freshness of the vinegar, the juiciness of the oil. It just kind of soaks into the bread. Yet the bread is so thick and so hearty that it gets soggy like where it needs to be, yet it remains crispy and fluffy where it needs to be as well. Mm. I think for me what makes it are those pickled chilies and the vinegar. Okay. Actually, I want to taste that pickle. Mmm. Just good, awesome, classic dill deli pickles. And we also ordered the Reuben, which I don't think I've ever seen a Reuben like this. They keep the knife underneath it so that you can, you have some leverage on the sandwich to lift that rye bread and flip it over. <laughs> oh, wow. Look. Look at that. <laughs> wow. That is spectacular. <laughs> that is so heavy. Oh, it's a weight. I think I've got to like support it with one hand and bite and then push with the other hand. Mm. Oh, wow. There's so many layers of corned beef, so many layers of provolone. The mustard, the rye bread, the butteriness, the sour acidity of the sauerkraut, that is amazing. Yeah. Love it! That was it. Oh, it's so good. Yes? Still eating it. Oh, you didn't bite into your donut yet? Not yet, not yet. Coming soon, coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm moving on to piece number two. Well, that is the king of submarine sandwiches. You know it's a good sandwich when you end up with some lettuce and ingredients in your lap. Now that is one serious sub sandwich. And then Redlicious hooked us up 
with one of the donuts for dessert. Wow, that is hearty. I think it's jelly filled. Yeah. That's sweet, that's puffy, it's so pillowy. And that's a perfect way to end the massive sandwich meal at Frank's Deli. Thank you. Ah, and our total bill for we got the pastrami, we got the gigantic oversized sub, and a pancake for Micah, $36.52. When they say oversized subs on the menu, they mean it. Oversized is an understatement. Yeah! Yeah, baby! <laughs> Redlicious. That was an ultimate outstanding experience. Redlicious, thank you. You are amazing. Keep up the incredible work and just making everybody feel special. Okay, from here we just go straight back to Atlantic City. Welcome back to Atlantic City and we're going straight to Tony's Baltimore Grill for some pizza and some spaghetti and meatballs. Wow, the bucket seat booths. You can feel the history in this place and just, it's kind of dark and kind of almost had a, has a nightlife kind of feel to it. The menu is right here on the, says Atlantic City's oldest pizza joint. Quite a selection of different Italian food on their menu. Can we please get the spaghetti and meatballs? And then one pizza. I love how it's all about the music. There's jukeboxes on almost every table where you can choose your song, a tribute to the past. Uh, there's photos with the history of Atlantic City and that entire front section right on the corner. I believe you enter that entrance and it's a bar there. But we came straight to the restaurant section, which is actually pretty sizable. There must be 40 or so tables and booths in here. And I also know that they're open late, so catering to the late night pizza crowd here too. While we're waiting for the pizza and the spaghetti to come out, I just wanna remind you that this, we're going on the full Anthony Bourdain food trail in New Jersey. It's 10 different places, so it's three days, three videos, if you're not already eating a sandwich or a pizza or have a drink in front of you, go get one right now and then keep watching. If you haven't watched the first video, make sure you go back and watch that and then the next video to come. And also make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it. And the pizza should be right out. Wow, thank you. Oh, nice. And the pizza, awesome. Oh, that looks delicious. Okay, we got the pizza with sausage and mushroom, which she said was the special. And actually, I just was just reading, this place dates back to established in 1927. That's some history as well. And then probably what I'm even more looking forward to than the pizza is the spaghetti and meatballs. It's an infinity edge. Sauce just spilling over. The noodles are barely visible. Two huge meatballs. start with the spaghetti. Oh, those meatballs, all the softness of them. Oh, flaming hot. Mm, so soft, so tender, they crumble in your mouth. Oh yeah, that is hot. Simple, that's good, that's everything it needs to be. And Anthony Bourdain called this a taste of his youth. So this would be, I think, a very common, and with the Italian influence within New Jersey, spaghetti and meatballs would just be a, a classic, especially in your youth when you're growing up in New Jersey. Okay, let's try the pizza. Oh, how's the pizza, Ying? Really good? Mmm. Oh, that pizza is amazing. I love the tartness of their tomato sauce. The thick layer of cheese, the silky mushrooms, the saltiness of the sausage. 
That is delicious. Oh, you taste the oregano in there? I think that's black pepper in the sausage. I love black pepper. Yeah. I'm gonna add on a little chili flakes. Really good pizza. Wow, like for me it's that tomato sauce. Similar tartness to the spaghetti. That's what's powering it. And with those extra chili flakes, that makes it too. Really good pizza. It's like nothing fancy. It's the type of pizza that's made it through generations. It's the type of pizza that they've been making since 1927. Welcome to the Atlantic City Boardwalk. We're gonna take a little walk along here. Uh, this is kind of the hub and center of it all. People come here to see and be seen and it's been like that for a hundred years and we're actually heading down a little ways to a place specifically to eat James saltwater taffy. While we're walking along the boardwalk here I'm gonna give you the one minute quick history of Atlantic City. It was in the 1930s when Atlantic City was just at its peak. It was one of the places to come to be, to be seen. There's entertainment options of everything you can imagine. And then starting especially during World War II, Atlantic City started to go into decline, especially when millions went to war, went to battle, and people weren't taking vacations anymore. And so at that time, crime increased, corruption increased, and the city started to fall. And on that note, we've just arrived at James Saltwater Taffy. So let's hold that thought and we'll continue the story. So James Saltwater Taffy, right at the front here, you can get a mixed bag, $10.99 a pound. Uh, we're gonna try, they say the original one is the molasses, but then they have some like, like, like 35 different flavors or something. They sell it by the pound, and yeah, they have something like 35 different flavors, but the original is the molasses. I'm going straight for a molasses, I'm sure. Oh, I love that untwisting. That feels great in the fingers. The gooiness. I'm sure it's been 20 years since I've had any kind of taffy. Oh yeah, that's sticky but kind of hard and kind of melting all at the same time. It's sweet. To be honest, not really my favorite thing, but it is, it is good, it is unique, it is historical. And even like Anthony Bourdain says, he's not hugely into sweets, but he is a sucker for nostalgia. The next part of the story starts in the 1970s when they were trying to revive Atlantic City, and so they legalized gaming, the gaming industry, gambling, casinos, and that's what Atlantic City is so known for. And with that came some revival and brought people back to come to stay in Atlantic City. But along with the casinos came corrupt politicians and greed, and the city became crippled by its corruption. And so again, Atlantic City started to decline. And then in the early 2000s, there were a few surrounding states, I believe Connecticut and Pennsylvania, and maybe even New York, that approved a number of adult gaming locations within those states. And so there wasn't a need for uh, people to come to Atlantic City. And so once again, Atlantic City went into decline. And so that's really been the story of Atlantic City ups and downs. If you walk around now, I mean, the boardwalk is one of the nicest parts of the city and it's very unique and very interesting to walk around and there's quite a lot happening. But if you go into the back streets of Atlantic City, you'll just see abandoned buildings. To be honest, it's in quite a sad state. It's on the verge of bankruptcy. It looks like half the buildings are under economic collapse. Houses have been foreclosed. And yet at the same time, people come here for vacation, for entertainment, for the beach. And I especially like what Anthony Bourdain said. He said that there's always hope because of the sea. The sea 
is always good. And no matter what happens, the decay, the ups and downs, the sea will be there. And it brings with it a sense of rejuvenation. It's a learning experience. It's an educational experience peering into the sea, the Atlantic. And so that completes our walk on the boardwalk in Atlantic City. From here, we're going to one of the most legendary, the oldest, and probably one of the best restaurants in all of Atlantic City. Tonight for dinner in Atlantic City, Doc's Oyster House, since 1897. What a restaurant. A landmark of Atlantic City. You come in here, it's actually huge. The bar is full, people are eating oysters, having a drink this afternoon. Pictures all around of Atlantic City, of the history. And I'm ready to eat some oysters and some other classics. They have the raw bar, they have entrees, they have steaks, they have lobsters, they have some specials including flounder, and they have a section on the menu that's called Doc's Classics that they say that it, these dishes have been on the menu since 1897. Okay, no problem. Right now. Okay, I you're on. It. You're this on. This is the best place for happy hour in the world. Yes, I think you're right. Great oysters, great martinis, the Cosmo. What's, what's your favorite oyster? Oh, that, ask him. <laughs> okay. What's your favorite oyster? <laughs> favorite oysters? Yeah. The one on my plate. <laughs> That's the right answer. <laughs> the one on his plate. The oyster bar, the happy hour bar, the seafood. And he's going to be shucking some oysters, plating some oysters, and lots of friendly, amazing people also. Oh, absolutely. What a great place. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Bottom of the gate and the bases are low. Take care. Thank you. Just some of the pan seared. What type Black of fish is snapper. That? Black and snapper. Black and snapper over, snapper. over, okay. over, over jambalaya, jambalaya stew. Jambalaya stew. Okay. Beautiful. Alright. That's ready to go. Okay, ready? Alright. Yep. Got it. Crab cake. Oh, no. Crab cake. Oh, okay. Alright. Panko crusted tuna. Panko and wasabi. Wow. Wow. This is a kitchen. Mussels. Mussel. Mussel marinara. Out there, yeah? Yeah. In what city? She went to Empenix. Yeah. Desert. Yeah. Got a desert out there. Yeah. Unlimited space. Stefan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stefan Johnson. Stefan. Stefan. Yes. Stefan Johnson. Stefan. You chefs are amazing. Enjoy Thank you guys so Thank you guys so much. Enjoy dinner, all right? Thank you, right. Chef Stefan. Thank you. Thank you. Buddy. Incredible. Really appreciate it. They're so cool. Running back to the dining room. The only bad thing about hanging out in the kitchen is seeing all the dishes that I didn't order. There's, oh, I guess there's always next time. You can only order so much for a meal for two. And we're starting off, I got the seafood sampler, the raw seafood sampler. Have to start with the oysters. Three different types of oysters. 
I'm not totally sure which one is which, but look at the, the different in comparison. I'll go small. I'll do a little bit of lemon. Doc's Oyster House since 1897. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. That is so pure, not too briny, melts in your mouth. Ceviche at the top. I think it's a mixed, a mixed ceviche. Mm -hmm. The onions in there, the cilantro, it's cool, it's refreshing. Look at the size of that shrimp. Go for a dip. Cocktail sauce. Mm. So much, oh that's sweet. That little bit of horseradish kick, wonderfully fresh and refreshing and muscular. Oh yeah, okay. Let's go downstairs, pluck one of these mussels out of the ice. Mm. Very good. Some of the crab nuggets. I'm not sure if it's supposed to dip it into any sauce or just eat it pure. I'm okay with pure. Mm. Oh wow, I love crab. The sweetness, the strandiness. I'm gonna try one of these beautiful clams next. And I think this is a vinegar sauce, which I'll add a little bit of this, vinegar and onions. Clams are beautiful. Mm. Oh yeah, wow, that is perfectly. With clams, I love that hint of bitterness that contrasts the sweetness. All oh, those are delicious and so fresh. The lobster claw. I think it should be cracked to reveal. Pull this off. Oh yeah. That thing? Is that thing in the way? Yeah. <laughs> Chef. Come on, man. Chef Stefan. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's you, man. Look, that's you. <laughs> hey. Micah, say hello. Yo, that is you, huh? <laughs> Wow. Uh, look at those, huh? Thank you. Look at them, man, huh? Wow. My God, my God. It's kind of hot, my Have one of those. Huh? Huh? <laughs> too hot? Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Awesome. Huh? Thank you, Chef. The palm souffle potato. Palm okay. souffle. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Enjoy, all right? Food is amazing, yes. What do you have in here? Coolest Chef. Wow. Mm. Oh, wow. The juiciness, the stringiness. The sweetness of that lobster. Chef Stefan, personally delivered out of the kitchen. You are the man. Thank you, Chef. Mm. These are just sensational. Just puffed up a balloon of crispy potato. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Awesome. Here we go. Main course has arrived. We got two different dishes. The flounder, which is the special, and then we also got from the Old Docks Classics, a menu item that they've been serving since 1897. A mix of fried seafood. There's flounder, there's crispy potato strips, there's a crab cake, a giant crab cake, and fried shrimp along with coleslaw. I think I gotta start with that flounder. Man, that looks incredible. Gonna go for that corner right there. Oh. Oh, it's so soft, it's so tender, the butteriness of that flounder. Wow. Get a little bit of that spinach on the bottom there, some of those tomatoes, and that sauce. Mm. Oh, wow. That is amazing. That flounder just melts in your mouth with this beautiful, rich coating. I think an egg batter, so delicate. It has this hint of acidity. I don't know if there's a little bit of wine in there. Balanced by the tartness of the tomatoes, that sauce is insane. Mm. 
what a dish. That is spectacular. Look at that boy out. Look, he is scared, huh? Look at that, huh? Oh, yeah. Look what I brought out for you. Michael, huh? look at that lobster. Look at that, huh? Look at him, huh? Flounder Frank Chase. Oh, it's you got it? so incredibly good. Yeah. Oh, thank you, man. You're the best, man. Love huh? it, Jeff. <laughs> Here we go. Fried seafood platter from Doc's 1897 menu. I gotta try that that crab cake first. Oh, I think I'm just gonna break it in half. Oh yeah, so uh, Chef showed me this and he said you gotta see the, the visible chunks of crab, which you can. And then I think it's a mix of kind of batter and egg and then deep fried. Wow. Mayonnaise, I think it's finger food. Mm. Oh yeah. That's loaded with stringy crab. The crunchy crust on the outside is so good. Do it a little, a little dippage in that tartar sauce. Mm. Mm. I'm usually not too huge on tartar sauce, but that's good because of all the pickles in it. Those are just paper thin, crispy all the way through. Everything just wonderfully crispy and fresh. I mean, that fried cheese food platter is outstanding, but this flounder is the dish of the meal, hands down. Well, well, how do they do? It's so good. Good. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. What's the best? This. Ah, yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah, it's so good. It's so it? good, so good. I hope this is appropriate, but I just have to. I cannot let a single drip of that sauce go to waste. It's that that good. Mm. That was just outrageously delicious. Thank you, Chef Stefan, and all the chefs. Oh, yeah. Cheese That's pie. That's raspberry sorbet. Yeah, it's a wow. graham cracker pie crust and a whipped cream cheese filling. It's really good. Thank it's you. Really, really good. Of course. Thank you very much. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that's wonderful. It's a cheesecake. Well, cheese pie, cheesecake pie. So light and refreshing and superb. And like, I'm not usually huge on desserts, so I really have a dessert at the end of a meal. This is really good though. Gotta try that raspberry ice cream. Mm hmm It's really good. Oh. I'm having a, an immediate tooth freeze. That cheese pie is wonderful though. It's really good, you know Ying? Ying and Micah are loving it. Outstanding food, historical location, iconic landmark restaurant, and our total bill for this meal, 117.29, that's for everything. And with that just unbelievably good meal, we've come to the end of day number two on this Anthony Bourdain food tour, food trail of New Jersey. And so again, huge thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching this entire series. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Goodbye from Atlantic City, New Jersey.